Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're gonna be messing with my 24-7 server because it has been messing with me. I have replaced the CPUs in that back in November, December and it has been nothing but trouble ever since. A normal running it's fine it does what it needs to do but then when I'm editing my videos and it has to do some hard work it um, crashes and it has done it quite a bit so this is a Lenovo SR650 server and I put in two new CPUs and some RAM and those were Hewlett Packard Enterprise parts and so of course when the server crashes and it complains about the parts it calls home to Lenovo and complains that the server has gone down and there is something wrong fortunately the the server is outside of warranty but um, yeah but even if it was within warranty I wouldn't get much luck getting a Lenovo technician out here and realizing that it's Hewlett Packard Enterprise parts that has been put in that has failed so yeah um, this is Lenovo Xclarity Administrator and it has a call home function so that the, when the server has messed up it actually knows to call home to Lenovo and tell them there is something wrong here this might be a warranty issue so let's go and check that I have to disable these uh, servers from calling home because I don't have warranty on any of them and Martin at Lenovo might get pissed at me if my servers keeps um, spamming him. So this is the Lenovo Xclarity Administrator and I have four servers that it has recognized back in the day. One of them is this one, the SR650 and it has been um, messing with me, let's just say that. It has dropped RAM block number 13 and RAM block number 15, so it's down to 256 gigabytes of RAM, even though uh, I have half of the RAM in it to see if I could if I could get rid of a RAM problem, but it seems to not it just doesn't like the RAM in uh, with CPU number two. So I think CPU number two is is where the issue is. So, but. If we go into administration up here we have service and support right there and in here we can see what it has done uh, some kind of a log we have endpoint service data not that interesting then we have endpoint uh, that's my endpoints so we can see the different servers are here and that would have been really neat if I had been able to select a server and select it to not call home. I would have thought that would be the place to do it, but apparently it's not. And um, over here we have service ticket status. So when the server actually calls home, we can also do a uh, perform call home test right here. So I can make a test and it will give me an email back and says that the, the test has gone through or we can perform an actual if there is something wrong with the server but it doesn't call home by itself I can push that one and it will do a call home and it will even uh, upload some data so that Lenovo can see what the heck is going on so yeah there is pr different possibilities there then there's the call home configuration if I press that uh, that's where I put in my address and my contact information so that when uh, the server calls home well the Novo knows who to call I'm not gonna press that there is too much data there but we have a service ticket status here and that is interesting so we can see when it has been calling home that was too much uh, and there we can see that it has called home back in 2021 all of those cases are closed then it has called home the 20th of December that one has been cancelled that was I think I think I mentioned that in one of my videos 
uh, when I was firmware upgrading the server to trying to get rid of this error um, that it had called home and I had and Martin at Lenovo had, had told me that the server was outside of warranty and then it did it again here not that long ago uh, call home ticket uh, just the 24th of January we are the 27th of January and I have an email from Martin uh, if he should just delete this and naturally he should so yeah it does that I think we can go and disable this so service forwarding here and um, I think this is where the service forwards it and I think if I just disable both of them I don't think it's gonna call home anymore I do not have anything with warranty on it at the moment so I hope this is enough so that Martin at Lenovo won't get bothered with me messing with my Lenovo server with Hewlett Packard parts. So let's get going with that. So as this is my 24-7 server, I do have some machines here that I need to shut down before, well, it has booted so many times that, that it really shouldn't matter much because it has crashed so many times. So we're just gonna no power off then. Yes, yes. So I'm just gonna shut down the machines that are running here. That one we are on. The router will kill the internet. The X clarity we can turn off. We are done with that. So in a little bit we should only have the essentials left. And that is the program we're in and the router and then I'll just shut that off. Okay, so now there's only vCenter and PFSense running on that server. So we'll power off the server. Shut down that is. And here we give it a reason. CPU. CPU. Okay, and it should shut down. And I'm gonna lose my internet while messing with this. So out here in the data center it's clearly complaining and it has just powered off so that is fine. I need to remove my uh, heat insulation over here so I can get around the back and remove the cables. I have prepared a CPU for it. This one to replace. I'm gonna try and replace CPU in socket, well socket 2. So, and, and that should work for there. Okay, power is off. Clearly. And I'm hoping to get rid of this. So I thought it was a memory issue, so I've been messing with the memory quite a bit on this server because it kept telling me that it was a memory issue. So at the moment I only have three blocks of memory for this processor and three blocks of memory for this processor. Uh, so I'm going to replace this processor with another one and then I'm going to put the RAM back in. Uh, right now I have 384 gigabytes of memory in here but it's only seeing 256 so we're gonna release this and to take it out we need to loosen number four three two one so number four is this one Three. 
Number two. Number one. And the plastic bracket should come out with the CPU. So I don't see any difference at the moment from the CPU that is in there now and to the one that we are putting in. Um, so I think we can just take the bracket off here and just swap the plastic over with some new thermal paste and stuff. It's gonna make it a little bit easier for my, my work here. And this hasn't been in very long. So we can kind of see we have gotten good coverage on the cooling compound. I'm going to put some new cooling on this one. Uh, I'm going to clean it a little bit. I have cleaned it a bit, but yeah, I guess it doesn't matter that much. And the CPU is a... Intel Xeon Gold 6254 CPU. So let's get some cooling on that. Uh, yeah, there's, there's some stuff to keep it off the table. And we're gonna put the same dots on as last time, so. And everybody has their own way of doing this. And this is the correct way of doing it. If you disagree, leave it in the comments. <laughs> There's a million ways of doing this, so it doesn't matter. As long as it's... I think this is how we did it. Feels a bit wrong. I think I think we have it the wrong way on. Yep, that feels better. And we're gonna take some tissue here. Make sure we have a clean spot. Make sure that we haven't gotten anything stupid on here. Get some spit on all of the connections. That was a joke, don't do that. Looks good, let's pop that in. So I do believe that last time I figured out that I couldn't put this in wrong But we're gonna do it very carefully anyway I need to go in that way and Then we have to fasten it in the opposite order So we have to fasten number one Number two I'm just loosely fastening it at the moment number three I didn't yeah three and number four and then we're gonna go all the way with number one oh that was already all the way number two all the way number three oh, it feels wrong when they when they take that many turns number four
there it's in all the way and I'm gonna put in the ram blocks that was missing with me and more or less they need to go in all the white slots and if I put them in all the white slots I will have them in the right order Okay, all the RAM is back in. Keyboard and mouse out again. Turn the server on. It lights up and stuff. That's always a good sign. And if I turn this on, something might come on the screen. Yep. So um, let's cross our fingers. Okay. So it's doing the memory initialization. That's um, always interesting. That's one of the points in the in the boot up that often gives you some errors. Okay, this is not good. It's counting. It's the wrong amount of memory in there. So one of the blocks is not right. Ah, uh, it's irritating. But it does um, start up VMware, so and it does also complain over here. So maybe I solved something, maybe I didn't. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we are inside of the system, and down here we can see a preview of what is on the screen. And I hope you saw that it was a purple screen of death because now it's just disappeared. And um, I opened this window first and could see that the, the VMware was up and running. So make it yellow there. And then I opened this screen and could see that there were a purple screen of death and thought, whoa, it has crashed. But I was watching YouTube on the other screen, so well, it hasn't crashed that much. So, but we have a complaint up here on the, the memory. Uh, memory, it tells me. Yeah, it's still pissed about those two blocks. I don't know. Why are those making trouble? I could be wrong. It could be processor number one that is uh, that is messing with me. But um, number 13 and number 15 should really be on CPU number two. Not entirely sure I get it. But I don't really want to mess around with it anymore today because I need my internet. Um, but thank you very much for all the lovely comments on the last video where I uh, unboxed my previous life in the creepy basement. Got a very nice uh, response on that one. I didn't think you were going to like it, but apparently a lot of people like me looking into my dark evil past, which isn't dark or evil or anything. So uh, thank you very much for that. Please, if you um, wouldn't mind giving this video a like as well, we did do something. Didn't solve all the problem, but the server guard, well, it went from red to yellow. That's an improvement. And there's more RAM in it. And yeah, so something else is messing with me. But never mind, we'll get that in another video. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye bye. <laughs>